We just made history. GameHeads is a program that teaches game design development and DevOps. For the fifth straight year, Oakland school kids who love video games are learning how to design their own. In the heart of Oakland, some ambitious and enthusiastic youth are hoping to one day make it big in Silicon Valley and the gaming world. These young men designed a drifting game based on real-life automobile sideshows with that special Oakland flavor. Growing up in the East Bay, being a person of color, you go through a lot of adversity and a lot of challenges. Being around people who are influenced by that and some, in some ways influence you. Most people that lived in Oakland worked in factories, the ports. It has that sort of working class feel. But when a lot of those jobs uh, left Oakland, uh, it became a really tough city to live in. When I was three, my dad was shot. You know what I mean? Like, my mom and dad both used to sell drugs. I mean, this year alone, I got six friends that's been murdered. You know, sometimes it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be alive tomorrow. You've got Silicon Valley down there. You've got San Francisco up there. And then you've got Oakland in the middle. Those people obviously need to learn how to get into the tech industry. But how do you teach them how to get into the tech industry when the schools are not necessarily set up to do it, right? So the easiest way to solve a complex problem is to come up with a solution that solves multiple problems. These kids love video games and they also need to get trained up so they can work in the tech and video game industry. So why don't we just teach them game design and development? That's kind of like the bigger reason for coming up with the idea. For me, video games is extremely important. It allows for me to do things that I can't do in the natural world. Jumping from buildings in Assassin's Creed or like 360 dunks in 2K. Yeah. Video games became something that I wanted to do for real. I want to be able to code the game that actually works. And when I first told my mom that I was probably going to do a game design program, it was kind of funny because how I found out about Game Heads, which was in an Uber. This random guy told me about it, but I think I might join. And I went there, got in, accepted. And I remember when we first started to learn how to do Unity. So this is how Call of Duty does it. Okay, I think I like this. You should always do something that you actually like to do in your everyday life as a career. So like, I like to play video games, so I'm finna just make them. Game Heads plays a, a very important role in bringing people like low income people of color, more specifically, to like giving them access to the, uh, the game industry, more specifically the game industry and even like tech industry. Like we have a, a, a DevOps program also that meets before Game Heads and they give opportunity to people of color. So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, there are people like me in the industry. So that means if they can make it, I can definitely do it. When I said to myself that I wanted to be a programmer, I was driving for Uber. When I walked into Game Heads and see what they was doing, I was like, oh yeah, this is a real deal. Game Heads changed my life. And instead of like, you know, being outside and hanging out and hanging out in front of a liquor store, you know, like I used to do, you know, I just, I spent my Saturdays at Game Heads and it's cool. And like, Game Heads just, you know what I mean? Welcome me with open arms. Game Heads is a program that teaches game design development and DevOps. But if you ask anybody who's affiliated with Game Heads, we know that what we're really trying to do is we want students to be able to have a thriving career. We've just chosen one way to do that. Teach them the skills necessary to work in a particular industry that's gonna pay them well so they can live here. And live here worry-free and have a good life. Okay guys, next build's ready. Come around. 
Game Heads is like bridging that gap between, you know, the low income communities here in Oakland and in the Bay Area, you know, to the tech industry, the Silicon Valley that's literally right in our backyard. Look, look, that was, that was for sure. Best way that I can explain it, it's like having a next door neighbor that you don't ever talk to. You know what I mean? You like steady like, hey, how you doing? And your neighbor's just kind of like, eh. <laughs> hey, lags, lags. Look at that, ooh, look at that. <laughs> Stupid boys. <laughs> Damn. Look at that. Um, look at that, ah. Look at that, ooh. We start our program in late January, and then we go every Saturday from January to June. We train students for 24 hours a month, so it's six hours every Saturday. We cover like about maybe 15 areas between, I'd say, January and June. It's a combination of, of like really, really hard work, but also just really fun, playful environment. One, two, three. Oh, okay, gang fest! Game has bridging that gap, and somebody should have been bridging that gap. I just, I want to see Game Heads grow, and I want to be a part of that. The students have to get into development teams of about like five. They have to choose a role, and they have to come up with an idea for a video game. The new Uncharted just came out. Damn, it was kind of like, what if y'all did like a sideshow game? And I was like, yeah, let's do that. You know what I mean? So like what she said, I'm like, man, let's go. Sideshows have been a part of Oakland culture because when you go to Oakland, that's something that's so familiar to us. We do it for fun. When the Warriors won the championship, shut down the freeway and we did sideshows. There it is, redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. We're from Oakland, so why not do what we show what we do? And that's how we got to the topic that we got to. The first time I heard about the video game around Oakland Sideshows, having uh, been born in Oakland, I think I laughed. I laughed at the sheer idea that only kids from Oakland would be so authentic to create an idea like this. I asked him, okay, if you're gonna make a game around sideshows, like what's the core loop? You know, what am I being motivated to achieve? And really start focusing on the game design mechanic questions to help them think beyond just trying to recreate the authentic experience. We spoke about different ways that we can go about technically implementing authentic coding and uh, strategies to make it feel like a, a real sideshow. So it's like we wanted to make it, you know, easy to drift but I, and like easy to swing, but at the same time, if you, you, you hit it wrong, you're gonna bat. <laughs> so it's like, and that's actually happened. So well, that's something that we kept authentic and true to the actual culture. And then like, you know, to be the first, like person, people, group to like create that, like we just made history. You know what I mean? Like, ain't no sideshow video game ever. We created that. Me, Darren Duran, uh, Edwin, Matt, Chris, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did that. So you're saying like empty chairs? Yeah. Every time I look over his shoulders, it's like colorful letters and numbers and things. And I have no idea like what that's creating. But once I see the game and I see like it has a game stick controller to go to it and it actually looks like something that I've played before, it's pretty cool. It definitely makes me look at him a little bit differently. The most that we want out of the game is potentially limitless. We want it to be almost in everybody's homes and we want to show that Oakland culture is what everybody already uses and we want to just put that into perspective for everybody else. When I close my eyes, what do I see? I see my daughter. I see my family. He's getting really 
you know, I see myself get my bachelor's degree, you know, and I see my daughter living a fantastic life and not having to deal with any of this craziness. Game Heads has shown me not only how to be independent and really be not only the best professional that I can be, but to be myself in any environment possible and to let my creativity flow while also on this team high side, um, it allowed for me to just experience and embrace the full personality that I had that I never was able to express. A lot of people are driven. People who sell drugs, who are in the streets, they're driven. They just driven to do a lot of things that can potentially get them in jail or killed. So it's like, it's passion everywhere, but you know, you gotta focus on somewhere that's like legal, somewhere, something that can get you somewhere, you feel me? I wanna be specifically a project manager for, for a development team, working on something that's uh, culturally relevant. I feel like I have a lot to offer in terms of the game industry. I feel like I can bring that and I feel like I can cultivate it and I feel like I can be representing a lot of people who play games. I feel like they can be able to relate to the, some of the things that I can bring to the gaming industry.